Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I want to show you how I created this uh, rice art, sushi rice art. So basically, it's um, it could be like a cylinder or capsules that's been instant on a point cloud. All right, so that's really the basic idea, and I just need to reiterate how I created this. Uh, I've shown you this technique before, um, but I think it's a uh, it's faster to do it today and yeah i just gonna show it to you from scratch so it's depending on whatever instance you are using uh to to the point cloud itself uh you're gonna get sushi rice or something else so okay that's rice shapes is actually it's almost like a capsules so you can try to get it right and give it some variations but i will just show it to you Okay, like I said, it's like a capsules. Okay, we can use the low res because it's gonna be so small anyway. You don't need to subdivide it. If you subdivide it, you might uh, run out of memory. My iMac is only eight gigabyte in RAM. If I have the Mac Studio, it's gonna be, I can do it uh, like a more detailed rise, but I don't need it. Anyway, so this is what I'm gonna be using. So it's like a, it's just a cylinder with a certain radius and with depth. So I like, I like this a little bit fat like that. And yeah, just extrude it a little bit. I extrude it with a, on the top and the bottom. So I'm using R, this is Boolean math. Simply plug this into the selections. You can scale. You can get like a different grain of rice or capsules and shade smooth and subdivide once. This is totally up to you. Okay, I like just a capsule shapes. Save this. I will be using that. First of all, we need to load the point cloud. So delete everything. File, import point data okay i have this one because i have the add-on already i mentioned this before it's a it's the photogrammetry add-on and you need to install the dependency first okay and then you have this import point data and i will be importing an example from the other day it's only okay this is around 150,000 points. I will use it as mass objects. I can reduce the sparsity, um, but for now, just load it as it is. So we have point cloud, we have the OpenGL preview and the mesh itself. The OpenGL is already quite nice, but I just gonna delete that. Point cloud. This point cloud, we can see um, how many points we have. 182,044. Okay, it's almost 200,000 points. I can adjust this so it's aligned. So when you are doing like a point cloud capture on the iPhone or other smartphone, um, you often need to align it so it looks correct. So let's save this very quickly. Sushi Rice Art. So before we are doing the instancing and stuff, I just gonna load my tool. So I'm gonna append and I will use this uh, point cloud rice node three. Okay, this one is from. It is using sphere chalk and geometry nodes. Okay, so I'm loading something here. And I have this artwork. This is another art I created the other day. This one is kind of heavy, 500,000, half million. I can just delete this guy. So it's loading the artwork itself. But all I need is the sphere chop node. Okay, save. So let's load this sphere chop nodes 
this should be mass point cloud. So this uh, this exec node mode sometimes it's not um, it's not running, it's not always loading. Um, you might need to reload it. Just reopen, and after re you reopen, it's gonna execute itself once. So it's gonna look at the data from colors, from this custom properties. Okay, so now the data is already loaded. Now all you need to do is loading the geometry nodes. Oh, by the way, if this doesn't reload, create a new node tree and then copy paste and it's gonna reload. Okay, now we have the capsules. At the moment it's looking like a uh, cat litters. I should have named this. Oh, actually it's already using the capsules. Okay, I just it's just a little bit too fat. I can reload the, the grain of rice. Actually, I'm just gonna append. Uh, where's the capsules? Gonna go to the desktop and get our capsules. No tree. Just load the no tree. And what's gonna happen? Okay, if we have a default cube. And geometry nodes with the uh, capsules it's gonna turn it itself into capsules but it's a little bit large I'm gonna transform it scale it 0 0.02 okay small enough if I just copy paste this row so I could just drag and drop this into the mesh point cloud but I think it's it's faster as the row data as the row nodes so you can group it. It's probably cleaner. We're just gonna plug this into the instance. It should load correctly. It takes a few seconds. Anyway, capsules goes in and geometry nodes also doing some magic with the point cloud data from Sphereshop. And hopefully this works. Let's reduce this thickness. Long like sushi rice tends to be a little bit thicker, but there you go. So it's been rotated randomly. Just gonna create sunlight okay it's a little bit slow. recording as well maybe I also need to switch this to cycles maybe because I'm using one subdivisions let me just reduce this for now just for sake of demo okay still looks okay just render this out so if a create light sunlight so there's a subsurface scattering on the material as well so the point cloud data is transferring from this color from the original point cloud data into this instance it's still a little bit slow could be faster if we just use like a sphere and we are rendering the the points like point cloud using point info but this one remember this one is like an actual mesh that's being generated on the fly and you want to turn on denoise it's gonna be faster with denoise and image will start to re to appear the rise might be a little bit too fat I just I can use skylight but for now just 
do it like this. So um, if you don't have an iPhone and you just do like a photogrammetry using call map or other method, mesh room or call map, that's like the open source one. So you take, take a lot of photos of uh, whatever subjects you are doing. So it's, it's need to be available in real life or you can like just sculpt it. So you take a photogrammetry and it's not point cloud, but you can you can later use like a cloud compare and turn it into point cloud. Or you can bring in the mesh surface into Blender and then you scatter some points and then transfer the color from texture into the points. And it's going to be a point cloud with colors. And then you, you just instance the geometry like we are doing here. Okay, it's definitely a little bit too thick. So we need to reduce the scale and I will turn on subdivisions. So it's going to be much more detail now. Oops. Okay. 0 0.015. Trying to find the perfect balance of the rise. So <clears throat> it's just a matter of balancing the number and something that your computer can render because half a million or one million is the limits of my M1. Eight gigabyte eight gigabyte of RAM, okay. So random value. This is instance mess to points. Capture the geometry mess point and then mess to points and then instance rotate. Blah blah blah. The sphere chop one. I show it to you before. It's grabbing the data from the custom properties and then passing it into attributes. I think it's trying to recalculate. Okay, yeah. Well, okay. This exact node mode just need to run once. Actually, after you transfer the data, you don't need to run this again. You can just delete the Spectrock node tree. Like I said, it's a little bit hacky. Sometimes doing this transfer into the color attribute a little bit hacky but it works it's only need to run once so it's almost that if you use python you don't need to use this search of nodes oh, by the way this is transferring the color into the mesh custom attribute for geometry nodes right if you really want to bake it into the vertices you need to um <clears throat> you need to use blender cycles to bake it into the vertex color I didn't I need to make another video to talk about that so if you really want to fully bake the color into the face corner you need to bake it one more time and then after you do that you can then bake it as a texture and then you can render this sushi rice as something like AR or if you want to put it on the game engine or online on the website you need to bake it twice. So I, I might try to do that with Sketch 5. The size of the file might become like 100 megabytes or 150 megabytes. It depends. Um, if I just use instancing, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, I mean, more efficient. But if you want the actual mesh for AR, you need to bake the actual mesh so you cannot just use instant unless you use instancing on on the on the AR objects itself so now the sushi rice are starting to appear this is actually three different fruits with three different color at the moment it's looking just like an egg okay this is like I said it's like a sushi art because it's instancing like grain of rice but if you replace it with any other mesh like triangles or like a brush stroke is starting to appear like impressionist impressionist type of art yeah it's just like all these smart uh, like small strokes 
recreating the point cloud color. Yeah, it takes a while to render, but uh, yeah, I guess I just gonna take a bit of time rendering. Um, but you got the whole process here. Hopefully you can replicate this or you can ask me to do it for you. All right. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.